Hello everybody, this is Chris Berry and I'm going to give a lesson on two finger thumb lead old time banjo picking and this video is mostly for the folks that came to my banjo workshop at the Equinox Festival on September 12th and thank you for uh, coming to that if you if you did and if you didn't uh, hopefully you'll get something out of this lesson as well we're in regular G tuning regular G, D, G, B, D tuning there's no tablature for this, it's just going to be uh, here on the screen. And just uh, going to go through the two basic licks that I taught. Uh, go through them as they apply to the song Groundhog. And uh, play Groundhog up to speed also so you can uh, get an idea of uh, what it's supposed to sound like. So the basic licks, the, the two basic licks that we talked about in the workshop were the melody note and pinch. So one lick is, I'm going to demonstrate the melody note in this case is going to be the open third string and then you pinch the first and fifth strings together. Your first string, or uh, first string is hit by the index finger and the thumb string amazingly enough is hit by the thumb. So the thumb is playing the melody note and then you pinch. So that's one lick. And then the other lick is a roll, and it's the, the simplest roll in this uh, in this type of style, is is this. It's thumb index, thumb index. Uh, first note is the melody note, which is your thumb, at the, uh, in this case, is on the third string open again. Index finger picks up on the first string, thumb hits the thumb string, and then the index finger picks up on the first string again. So, uh, rather mechanically, the roll is like this. And the trick, of course, is to alternate this with the pinch as you're playing so it doesn't get monotonous. Uh, again, very uh, simply, it would be like something like this. Also in practice, you want to swing that roll a little bit. The pinch is going to sound pretty much like this, but the roll, you don't want these notes to be even. You want so that there's an emphasis, especially on the one where the melody note is. And I'm exaggerating that a little bit, of course, to get the idea for you. So let me play Groundhog through with the, with the two licks and hopefully you'll remember how the left hand goes and for those of you who weren't at the workshop uh, you'll just uh, try to get the melody from my hand. It's a very simple melody and again the thumb is going to be playing all of the melody notes as we do this. So with the pinch the melody of Groundhog is this. time with the pinch, uh, hopefully in a little better tune. So again, the thumb is playing all of those different melody notes and the first uh, and index fingers are just pinching. They're rather the uh, thumb and index finger are pinching on the offbeat. Alright, and then with the roll, with this, here is uh, here's the same melody played with that roll. Or if I played it right, it would be this.
it played it through a couple of times slow and uh, all of the melody notes for those of you who weren't at the uh, at the workshop uh, the, the melody notes are either on the open strings or there's one melody note at the fourth fret of the bass string uh, the fourth string and you also have a couple other melody notes one at the third fret of the second at the first fret of the second and then open and then the second fret of the third string and those are the only notes you have to fret they're all in the major scale pretty easy tune to get now I'm going to play it up to speed and you can hear what uh, what it's supposed to sound like you'll hear me doing this roll um, and the pinch mixed all up I just do that ad lib there's no pattern sometimes uh, I leave a note out of the roll so instead of this sound you might instead of this sound you might hear this same roll but I'm skipping the first index instead of that you might hear that a little bit in here uh, but mostly it'll be those uh, two rolls and uh, also occasionally as I mentioned in the workshop uh, when the slide comes like that my index finger will drop down and play the second string as the as the drone instead of the first so it would sound like this second time the uh, index finger picks the first string but the first time <clears throat> it's hitting the second you get kind of a bluegrass uh, bluegrass sound that way uh, just for that little moment all right here's groundhog up to speed shoulder up your gun and whistle up your dog shoulder up your gun and whistle up your dog off to the woods to catch a groundhog oh groundhog Eat up the meat, save the hide. Eat up the meat and you save the hide. It's the best old shoestring that ever was tied. Oh, groundhog. Yonder comes Grandpappy popping his cane. Yonder comes Grandpappy popping his cane. It's when he'll eat them groundhog brain. Oh, groundhog. There's a little piece of cornbread laying on the shelf. Little piece of cornbread laying on the shelf. If you want any more, you gotta sing it yourself. Old brown hog. So that's the tune. There's a lot more verses to it, and. Uh, uh, if you like it, you can. This is pretty much Doc Watson's version. Tommy Gerald also plays it on the fiddle with a slightly different melody for the chorus at the end. Instead of instead of Old Groundhog, he sings this. Shoulder up your gun and whistle up your dog. Shoulder up your gun and whistle up your dog. Off to the woods to catch a groundhog. Yank a Tommy, yank a Tommy, yank. So uh, it's a little different that instead of you have you start on the open uh, bass string walk up to the G. Anyway, that's it. That's Groundhog. And again, thanks for coming to the workshop and I uh, hope this lesson helps out. Thanks.